Mr. Speaker, will you please call the House to order? The House will come to order. The Reverend Dr. Amari Tanan Santos will offer a prayer. A lesson from the book of the prophet Micah, the sixth chapter, verse eight. God has told you, human one, what is good, what the divine requires from you to do justice, embrace faithful love, and walk humbly with your God. Would you join me in prayer? We come before you everything that is holy as we set our minds, hearts, and strength in service to today's session of the New York State Assembly. Nos conmueve saber que tenemos esta oportunidad única de servir a la diversidad de personas, circunstancias y experiencias que conforman el estado de Nueva York. We are thankful for those who have been chosen by the vote of the people to this service. And we pray that you will provide each member of this legislative house with wisdom in their analysis, fortitude in their commitments, love in their service, and goodness in their presence with, for, and among each other. Te damos gracias por las personas que han sido contratadas para servir en las operaciones de esta Cámara Legislativa. Te damos gracias porque cada labor que realizan tus siervos y siervas animan el bienestar y mantenimiento de un espacio que fomenta la creación de ideas, el compromiso de servicios a la gente de este Estado y a buen conocimiento de info que informe los próximos pasos e implicaciones de las decisiones que aquí se toman. We are thankful for the officers of this legislative house, for the speaker, and for others that steward the chair of the speaker, for majority and minority leaders, and for chairs of committees. For each one of them, we ask that you provide wisdom and fortitude in their service. Te damos gracias por el trabajo que queda por delante en esta sesión. Provee para cada uno de estos, tus siervas y siervos, todo don espiritual y físico para que puedan traer lo mejor de sí a este trabajo sagrado, el trabajo por el bienestar y la interés de cada persona cuyo hogar es el estado de Nueva York. We are thankful and ask these things because we know we will be better able to serve as a community of leaders guided and empowered by everything that is true, holy, just, pure, lovely, and worthy of praise. In the name of all that is excellent, admirable, and good, we pray. Que así sea. Amen. Amen. Visitors are invited to join the members in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it is. Mr. Sea for an introduction. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to do an introduction. Today is very special. This past week and today we've witnessed the celebrations of the 52nd anniversary of birthday an international celebration, and also the extensive amount of participation in world peace. And today, a very special gathering here in the Capitol, hosted by the governor, to celebrate the breaking of fast for Muslim Americans, Iftar. And today I have with me, I'd like to introduce four gentlemen who have been pillars and extremely instrumental in the movement of global peace, in the movement of expanding Islamic American relations, and also in the movement of celebrating Earth Day. And I'd like to start off with all dear friends, Guru Gariji, who's Dr. Dilip Kumar Kapitan, who's the global chairman of World Yoga Community, involved in Path to Peace, a global organization, and of course, generated extensive conferences on World Earth Day, joined by the president of the 12th Gate Foundation, the Reverend Dr. Frank Kaufman, and also joined by a man, Dr. Shamsi Ali, who's the director of the Jamaica Muslim Center, and also joined by a man, Muhammad Shahidullah, who's the president 
of the Interfaith Center of the USA. Mr. Speaker, these four gentlemen have played a crucial role, not only locally and statewide, but internationally in some of the most important causes. And I'm joined today by my colleague, Assemblyman David Wefren, who represents the Bronx and these gentlemen, to really wish them the very best and to encourage them to continue their work. Certainly. On behalf of Mr. Sayah, uh, Mr. Weprin, the Speaker, and all the members, we welcome you gentlemen here to the New York State Assembly. We extend to you the privileges of the floor and our congratulations on the tremendous work that you've done and in expectation that that work will continue as you go on in your lives. Thank you so very much for being here.